Hey everyone, Lane and Brock from Next Gen Marine Outdoors and Ultramarine. I'm gonna show you guys, well Brock is, on uh, putting bearing buddings on your G3 bear trailers. Um, it's common on all these axles. It's much better to put bearing buddings on they're more reliable, they hold grease, they don't leak, um, easier to fill, way less maintenance on them. So we're gonna go ahead and show you that now. So you're gonna pop off the cap, the original. Just tapping the sides, it goes all the way around. You go ahead and top the bearing off with grease. And fill it up, you'll see it coming out the rim there a little bit, okay? Then you're gonna pop off the old grease cert. They are just press fits in. Okay, they're just press fits, so. We use a pair of dikes and pop them out. Now you take your fresh bearing buddy kit. What size are these bearing buddies? They're just oh, model, there's your model 1980 number. ASS. That's the size we're using all the G3s, our 17s, 18s, and 20s are all the same size. Like to put a little bit of retaining compound on them just for an extra stick in case of uh just for any type of reason so the retaining fluid that was like loctite 609 just around the ring you can see how he's doing that there now you're gonna tap it all the way around the rim until it seats Always, I always grab it, make sure it won't spin, won't pull off. And just grab your rag and wipe away any residue. And there, there's your bearing buddy installed. So now you gotta do is pump it full of grease and the grease will force through that zert area that we had there and it'll also force around the edges and that's how it gets grease in there. People say, oh no, you can't, do that because it's not gonna get grease back to the bearing it does it forces grease back to the bearing buddy has a spring system in it as it fills it's also pressing it back as the grease heats up it's pushing it back into that bearing as you can see it's pull pushing the grease it's pushing this blue inner plastic piece out we're looking for about an eighth of an inch quarter of an inch out and as you first time you fill it you gotta wobble it around that's gonna let the air out you see how that sunk back in so that way the air goes out of it and then you just start pumping again you'll see that blue ring start to come out again it's gonna get about an eighth of an inch Wobble it again, find any air bubbles. Just about there is where I'm gonna call it good. Yeah, this is nice and tight, you're not losing the air or anything, and there you go. Now it's just a little wipe up there, and we'll get the rim back on, and you guys are done. So that's how you do it, it's really simple. Lane and Brock, Next Gen Marine Outdoors, and also Ultra Marine Performance in Idaho Falls. If you're in the Idaho Falls area, we have G3s in stock and on the way, 20s, 18s, 17s, anglers, all sorts of G3s. So give us a call if you have any questions if you're in Idaho Falls. Thanks.